Hello beautiful one, Jen here from jennyandteddy.com Welcome back to another tutorial. This one we are going to make the easy crochet pullover sweater or a jumper. I prefer to call them a jumper because I love the name. Anyway, they are easy to make, beginner friendly. You can also get the free writing pattern on my blog. I will put the link in the description below and you can also follow me on the Instagram to see the new pattern update. So the basic construction of the pullover sweater is we making two identical rectangle front and the back exactly the same and then we will join them together to create the shoulder and the armhole and after this we will um, adding the long sleeve by crocheting onto the armhole and the length of the sleeve can be customized to be a short sleeve or the long sleeve and that's all we done i hope you go like the tutorial and let's get started so what you will need is um crochet hook size a uh, five millimeter crochet hook yarn needle, stitch marker, stitch marker, a pair of scissors, measuring tape, and the yarn. The yarn that I use is um, from Wu and the gang. They call the shiny happy cotton. Is um, uh, the yarn weight is about um, four medium weight is Alan worth. And they are 100 gram. The, the length is uh, 155 yard or 142 meter. Uh, in this example size, it will be fit size small to medium. I'm using about six of them, this one. But anyway, you can use the an alternative. There's something that's similar that have a full medium weight yarn in any brand the cotton blend will be fine um acrylic yarn will be fine that will be fine also so you can use any full medium weight yarn for this project and let's get started And now we will go over to the construction of the jumper or the sweater top. And we will make the basic two rectangle front and the back. They are exactly the same. Front and the back. And this one you can also make them in um, any size. So we are made by measuring. So we will measure your bust size. Here your bust. Your bust size here we measure from here. Measure this one and then for example, my bust size is 32 inch. 32 inch. Divide by 2 equal to 16 inch. 16 inch and I want this um, jumper to be a little bit um, loose fitting I will add two more inch I will add two more inch so my front my foundation chain will be 18 inch so my foundation chain here will be 18 inch 18 in the same front and the back so if you want uh, the jumper to be tight fitting you just don't add anything so so your bust side divide by two then you got 16 you don't add <coughs> no add two inch so just use 16 but if you want it make it uh, a little bit more oversized you just add more four inch and four inch that will be fine 
So either you can go for um, to um, perfect fitting, so 16 inch, a little bit loose fitting, so two more inch, so a little bit oversized, I add four more inch. So your foundation chain will be um, will be um, for loose fitting will be 18 inch. Same like me. If you want it oversized, will be add more for it will be um how many twenty inch. If you want it to be um just for perfect fit, just sixteen inch. Don't add anything. So so the this one you can make them in any size by measuring your bust size, and then we will work it out from there. And the front and the back we are the same. And let's get started. So now in this sample, we will make it fit size small to medium. We will start with a chain. You can start the foundation chain in um, any number that you like. That will be fit, um, um, fit matching the length of your bust. So I will um, start the foundation chain with um, fi 50 chain. Start with a slip knot. And then Chain 50, 1, use your um, 5mm crochet hook, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Um, I will go off the camera and meet you at 50 chain. I am now, I finished um, 50 chain already, the foundation chain. I will measure up my chain. My chain would be um, about nearly 16 inch. If I not um, stretch, yeah, nearly 16 inch. But when I do um, stretch, it will get up to 18 inch. 18 inch here. Yeah. So my foundation chain, uh, my panel will be, when I make it, will be about 18 inch after when we stretching. And now we will start on um, row one next. Now on um, row one, row one, row two and row three, we will um, make a herringbone double crochet stitch for three row, one, two, three. So the yarn here, grab the yarn, insert your crochet hook, grab the yarn, and just your thumb, pull over one, two, and three. So here we are, our first herringbone double crochet. I will do it again. Grab the yarn, insert your crochet hook in the next chain. Grab the yarn. Now. Hold your thumb in the middle and then pull to one, grab a yarn, pull to one, grab a yarn, pull to two. Keep going. Grab a yarn, insert your crochet hook, put your thumb on the middle, 
pull the yarn one loop grab the yarn pull to one loop grab the yarn pull to both loop keep going this is a uh, call herring bone uh, double crochet stitch keep going until you are um, at the end of the row at the end oh, sorry at the end we will chain two and turn keep going make her ring bone double crochet stitch one two and three it will be look like this uh, and then don't forget to put your stitch marker in on the first stitch that you just made uh, I think this one the first stitch that I just made and I will meet you at the end of the row just keep going making herring bone double crochet stitch on each chain across until the end of the row here I am now at the end of the row of herring bone double crochet stitch already and then we will um, chain two one and two turn your work row um, row two and row three we will repeat exactly the same by making herring bone double crochet stitch in each stitch across at the end chain two and turn row two and row three we make the same so make herring bone double crochet stitch your first stitch one two three so the next one make the same Grab a yarn, put your thumb here, pull the yarn to grab a yarn, pull to one, grab a yarn, pull to two. Um, repeating this. So this is uh, row one, row two, and row three. We do um, herring bone double crochet stitch. Keep going. going until the end of the row at the end we will chain two and turn so here at the end chain two and turn so i will um meet you at the end of row three so row one row two and row three you do the same her ring bone double crochet stitch Um, now I am at the end of row 3, row 1, row 2, row 3 here. And then we are going to, um, at the end of row 3, we always chain 2, chain 2. Turn your work. And now on row 4, row 4 we will, um, do the different stitch but it will be very easy also so we will do double crochet in the same stitch we will do a crisscross stitch so double crochet in the same stitch or we do double crochet in the same stitch when you start of the crisscross stitch row and then we will skip one stitch and then do double crochet in the next stitch. So skip one stitch and make one double crochet in the next stitch and then we will go back to do double crochet in the stitch that we just skip. So go back, back.
and then do double crochet. So here we are. This is a little bit of um, cross. So you can see here. So you might not see it, it clear. I will do uh, two more. So skip, skip first stitch. Then we do double crochet in next. Now we will go back to do double crochet in the stitch that we just skip. Double crochet go back, back here. Then do double crochet. So here. So keep going. Skip first stitch. Make one double crochet in the next stitch. Okay, do it again. Skip first stitch. One double crochet in the next stitch. Then go back to do double crochet in the stitch that we just skip. Go back here. Do double crochet. Keep going. Skip first stitch, double crochet in next, then go back to do double crochet in the back. Keep going until the end of the row. I will meet you at the end of the row here, okay? Um, um, I am now at the end of row 4, the row that we do the crisscross double crochet stitch. At the end, if you have one stitch left, just do double crochet, but I don't have stitch left. I will do double crochet anyway. I will do double crochet on the last stitch. So... <coughs> So it will be flexible, like if you have one stitch left, just make one double crochet in the last stitch. But if you don't have any stitch left, you're gonna um you're gonna make one double crochet anyway. And then we will um chain two, one and two, and then we will start all over again by making um <coughs> sorry making the herring bone double crochet stitch so in this one make a herring bone double crochet in the same stitch one two and three and then you see the stitch in next making herring bone one two and three the stitch make if you see in each stitch, make herring bone double crochet. One, two, and three. Okay. Make herring bone double crochet. Keep going until the end of the row. So, so after we do crisscross row, and then on the next three row, we will repeat doing this by make a herring bone double crochet stitch three row <coughs> sorry make herring bone double crochet stitch three row on this one and then after do herring bone double crochet three row on the on the fourth row we make um crisscross double crochet Keep repeating this so we will repeat um, row 1 to row 4, row after row until you have about um, 17 inch long, the length 17 inch long and, and I will see you there.
so here we are I finished um, the first panel already the front panel I, I measure up is about um, 17 inch long if you want you are um, this one is a full length full length um, jumper but if you want to be the crop jumper you can uh, make it shorter maybe uh, 15 inch or 14 inch that will be fine for the crop crop style I make it, uh, it into the full length jumper so if you want to make it shorter to be a crop just make maybe 15 inch that will be okay so uh, we finish with the first panel the front panel and we will do exactly the same just repeat the same process for the back panel for the second one and um, here we are. I finished the back panel already. They are made exactly the same. And now we will be ready to assemble the piece together on the next clip. Hi guys, now we are going to do assemble the piece. So we do the top part first to create the shoulder. For this one, this one will be for all sides for the um, open neck. The open neck will be about 10 to 11 inch. I think it's 11 inch. 11 inch. So all sides will be open neck the same about 11 inch. And you can... Uh, equal it for the shoulder if you have if you making another side you can always have the same open neck like me for about um, 11 inch or 10 in that will be fine for the open neck and the rest you can work it out for to equal for the um, shoulder for my side is size small to medium. My shoulder is about five inch on each side. Five inch here. And we will use the the yarn needle to sew up the piece. And now we finish one side already and we will repeat the same for the other side for create a shoulder. And I will meet you when I finish the other side. After this, we will um, do create the armhole together on the next clip. Um, uh, now we are going to create the armhole. The armhole, I will go for um, armhole. I will go for six inch. It will be this size, um, small to medium. And if you have uh, another size or bigger, you can go for seven in that will be fine. Just one more inch, not much. And we will use the yarn needle and sewing along here on the side. With your favorite sewing method.
So um, we are done with one side and we will repeat the same for the other armhole. And I will finish it and we we'll see you there. So um, now I finished uh, the sewing, create the um, armhole and uh, I have tried it on and it looks good and it is. If you happy with this look, you don't need to go further to add a long sleeve to be the jumper because this will be fine for the summer because it's made from cotton but if you want to make it a little bit more like um and more sleep that will be okay too so if you're happy with this one you just finish it off and go and if you want to add more long sleep we can do on you can follow on the next clip i will show you how to add a long sleep we will crochet, continue crocheting on the armhole for the long sleep and turn them into the jumper. So let's see you in the next next clip for the and uh, the long sleeve for the jumper. So now we are going to add the uh, sleeve. We will crochet. Make the single crochet around the armhole just for one round to be the base of the long sleeve. Just make a simple single crochet in each in each stitch or in each space around the armhole for one round. So single crochet, one single crochet, two single crochet. So we make one single crochet in each stitch around or in each space around. So if you see the bigger space, you just make, uh, you can make two single crochet in the bigger space. And this row is important. You have to count how many stitch of single crochet you did. So you will do the same on the other sleep and then you will have exactly the same side of the sleep so this row is quite important you need to count the stitch how many stitch that you have on this row i i did already i got about um 46 46 stitch just making single crochet in each stitch or in each space if you see like the bigger space like this you can put uh two single crochet but you need to count how many stitch you did so otherwise you will end up have if you don't count you will end up have a different side of your um your your sleep maybe some smaller some bigger if you don't count so we, we should count it so you can have a beautiful exactly the same size I mean not exactly the same I mean just a little bit um, similar size so better to count it if you don't count that will be fine too because before I don't count the stitch at all I just like uh, make it even okay but sometimes they don't they don't have a same size but they're not much different so I just let it go so I just be like I'm a little bit lazy I mean I'm very lazy <laughs> crochet so we just do simple single crochet in each space or in each stitch around the armhole just for one round And I will meet you there when I finish here. And don't forget to put your stitch marker in on the first stitch that you just made. I think it's here. The first stitch that I just made, single crochet. It's here. 
So I will meet you at the end of the round here. And then we will start to do the stitch the same as the body part here. So now I um, finish a single crochet around the armhole for one round. My stitch count is 46. If you size um, small to medium and your armhole is uh, measured for 6 inch, you probably get around 46 or until 50. But remember, and any number that you end up, you will put a note on it and then you will do the same on the other side. So now we will start on um, round 1. Round 1. To start row one, we will just chain two. I mean, uh, chain two, and then we will just do the same as the body part. So we will do um, her ring bone double crochet stitch for three row, and then we will do the crisscross stitch for one row, and repeat them over and over again until you have the length, long length for your long sleeve. So chain two, oh, sorry, I will, I will, um, focus, okay, chain two, and then we will do, um, her ring bone double crochet stitch on the next one, on the next stitch. And remember this round we will work, um, continue to work in spiral, we not join the round. So we do herring bone double crochet stitch. For three round. And put your stitch marker on, on the first stitch that, that you just made. Stitch marker. And keep continue making a herring bone double crochet stitch. In each stitch around. Okay, keep going. Herring bone double crochet stitch. Keep going until the end of the round. At the end, we not join round. We just we just keep continue in spiral and just move your stitch marker up. So I will meet you when I at the end of round three of the herring bone stitch here. Uh, I am now finished the uh, herring bone double crochet for three, three rounds already. One, two, three. And um, on the next round, we're going to do crisscross double crochet stitch. So on the next round, we just, uh, I forgot to move it. Just move it here. So on the next one, so remember we keep continue crocheting in spiral, we not join the round. So when we start on the round 4, round 4 we will do the crisscross double crochet stitch as the, we did on the body part. So on the first stitch, on the first stitch, on the first stitch here we make double crochet. Make one double crochet and then we will skip two stitch. I'm oh, sorry, we will skip one stitch, one stitch here and make one double crochet in next. Make one double crochet in next, and then we will go back on the stitch that we just skip here, go back and then 
go back here, back, and then we do one double crochet. Go back and then do one double crochet. Hang on. So the stitch that we just skip, uh, go back to do one double crochet. Yeah, here we are. We just do the same as we did on the body, on the body part of the uh, jumper or sweater. So on the next one, we skip uh, one stitch and then we do one double crochet in next. And then we go back to do one double crochet in the Step that we just skip, go back here, make one double crochet. So here we are. Keep going until the end of the row. At the end of the row, we're not join the row, we keep, keep continue in spiral. So at the end of the row, you just make a one double crochet here and keep going I will meet you when I am at the end of the row of the crisscross double crochet stitch at the end of row I mean row 4 so I am now at the end of the row 4 that we do Row 4, let me just do the, the, the crisscross stitch row and we will keep continuing in spiral. So the next row, we, we just do um, herring bone double crochet stitch. By on the next one, next stitch here, we will do herring bone double crochet stitch. Do not join the round, just keep going. A ring bow double crochet stitch. So in each stitch here, we do a ring bow for three rounds, and then we after three rounds we will do the next round we will do crisscross. Repeat this round and round until you have about um um thirteen inch long for the long sleeve show you we measure from here so you go for 13 inch long if you want it to be short sleeve maybe just go for seven or eight but I, I prefer to do the long sleeve so I will go for 13 so I will meet you when I uh, finish and the sleeve for about 13 inch long I will meet you there just keep repeating the process. So, three rounds of uh, herring bone double crochet stitch, and then one round of the uh, crisscross stitch, then three rounds of the herring bone double crochet, and then one round of the uh, crisscross stitch. Repeat them again and again, and then I will meet you at um, 13 inch long. So here we are, I have done it, um, the sleeve is be about 13 inch and we will repeat on the other side which I done already so it will be uh, look like this one So you can see here, and uh, that's all we done. I hope you go like the tutorial, and if you make one, please tag me on Instagram. I would love to see your creation. Bye.